Hello people of the internet, I am the Gaming Lem. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Elgato Game Capture HD recording device. Now I got this to replace my Harpog original HD PVR because I've been having a lot of problems with the original one which I do not recommend getting. If you really want to get a PVR, get the Harpog HD PVR 2. But I've been having massive problems with that, like uh, it, it, it was nearly officially broke, like um... My computer kept failing to record the uh, actual um, gameplay and at some bits, at some points it would say the device was not recognised, I had to take it out and put it in and keep doing that and sometimes it wouldn't work for the day. So I thought it was time to upgrade to this and also that this um this uses the HDMI cable to record whereas the HPARPARC HDPVR uses component cables so now I can, play, I can play games in full 1080p on HDMI on this one. Now I'm going to be doing an unboxing of it of course, I'm going to test the um, quality of it and I'm going to be doing it as a comparison with the original HCP VR. Now uh, as I said before I'm getting an Elgato instead of HCP VR 2 because uh, well I just don't trust the Harpar company uh, considering all the problems and uh, uh, bad reviews from the HCP VR 2 but I cannot comment on the HCP VR 2 because I have not uh, seen any um, actually, uh, uh, sorry about that, any gameplay of it, or nor have I uh, tested it out for myself, and I haven't actually tested out the Elgato for myself, so I just went for the Elgato, um, n not knowing what to, not not knowing what the uh, HEP VR 2, but I've seen what some of the testing is like on the Elgato, and um, where's my where's my other copy here? I always say I've bought a second copy to give away, um, I'll be giving that away once I hit 100,000 subscribers, and also, one last thing before I start, um, I'm not sponsored by Elgato in any way, shape, or form like all the uh, other YouTubers who are sponsored by Elgato, so I'm going to be doing a full, honest review, you know, um, I, I, I bought these completely by myself, and uh, you know, I'm not sponsored by them at all, so it's going to be completely honest and completely non-biased. So let's get into it here, I've already taken off the plastic, so it uh, saves me not looking like an idiot with one hand well the camera's like in front of my face so I can't really see, see it that well and it's quite hard to handle there we go uh, so well on the front you've just got the uh, Elgato itself and uh, on the side on that side on this side you've got a side angle view of the Elgato itself and on the back of it all the um, uh, stuff it comes with and what it does all in other languages fun fun yeah yeah don't really care about that you guys want to see what's actually in the box which is the Elgato itself on the right side now as you guys will see it's actually fairly fairly small if I compare it to my hand or an iPhone 4 in this case um, is actually smaller than the iPhone 4 in um, in length however it is wider but that's not really that important it's very 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 small and if I compare that I can't really get the HCP viewer out because it's um, uh, uh, all plugged in and that, but it's a lot, lot smaller and very, very portable, so you can use that when taking it to trips and whatnot. Let's take the plastic off here. There we go. Now, I'm not too sure if this will get a load of fingerprints. I imagine it would, because of its own design. I, can't, I think it's a gloss finish, you call it. I can't really remember. I'm not very good with unboxings, or um, I just don't know what it's called. Um, but uh, connectors it's got, it's got a HDMI out with a USB to connect to the computer. It has also got a HDMI in, so you need, I think it's two HDMI cables, I'm not too sure. I think it comes with a one, it comes with one HDMI cable, I'm pretty sure of that. And uh, uh, well, it's got a get started thing there. Do I know if I should open this? Yes, I do. Um, it, this shows how to connect to your Xbox slash PlayStation 3. Um, but I think I already know how to do that, but I'll just leave it there in case I uh, get stuck. Okay, so it includes a component cable to um, convert from... Oh, no, wait. I think this goes in 2D. Oh, no, never mind. This is just a component cable converter in case you do not want to use HDMI. Um, of course, it's HD component cables as well. It includes... What is oh this is this is for your PlayStation 3 so I do not actually need this cable because um, I'm not going to be using it for PlayStation 3. I'm using it for Xbox it includes the connector to connect it to your computer and also one HDMI cable. I think you do need a second one. I'm not actually too sure, um, but w w you know we'll, we'll see. So um, 
I'll set it up now and place my uh, crappy HEP view. Actually, no. First, I'll do um, a quality test recording with the HEP VR, the original one itself, um, and then compare it with the Elgato on the same clip, which I'm going to be testing on Black Ops 2. So I'll be right back and I'll go test this out right now. Okay, so I recorded um, the same clip in Black Ops 2 with both the original Harper HEP VR and the Elgato Game Capture HD. Both of these clips are exactly raw footage, there is no changes to them apart from I like, disabled resampled um, on both the clips so you can see the frames a lot um, easier. The Elgato recorded in 1080p at 30 frames per second and the Harper HEP VR recorded at 720p at 60 frames per second but this is um, the video is rendered at 30 frames per second so you won't notice a difference in frames per second but you will notice a, a difference in quality of course because uh, the Elgato recorded in 1080p this is the Elgato gameplay as you guys will see is definitely definitely a lot crisper I'm not too sure about the color I'm not too sure if that's better or not you guys can decide um, I think there's less color um, in the raw footage of the Elgato, but it, the color doesn't matter at all if you don't like it because it can easily be changed in color, you know, color correction settings and brightness and uh, contrast settings in your editing software program. But overall, the Elgato I would say is definitely a lot better quality, um, and it's uh, definitely a lot crisper. And uh, I definitely prefer the quality in the Elgato Game Catcher HD. And also, it is a lot, a lot easier to record, and it has a lot more advantages. And uh, that's what we are going to do next. We are going to go into the software, and how we can see it is a lot easier to record when using the Elgato software to record your gameplay. So here is the um, Elgato. Uh, capture HD software that you use to record your gameplay. It is a lot, a lot um, simpler to use than the uh, Harpag recording system. It looks a lot more um, well designed, and it is very, very easy to use. And there are a lot more advantages compared to the uh, um, Harpag um, recording software. I'm not going to record the um, Harpag recording software. I'm just going to show the Elgato one. But um. This is this this whole screen here is obviously uh, the preview of your gameplay, and in the bottom right corner is where you can actually record your gameplay. Um, but first, let's go into the um, the top of the uh, uh, recording software, and um, this little button right here is where you can change all the configuration. You can change where you want the recording to be saved. I've got mine recorded in my uh, Black Ops 2 recording um, folder, so it's easier for me to navigate it. And you can uh, change it simply by uh, pressing this button and, uh, you know, putting it wherever you want to on whatever hard drive. And um, you can change what format to change it to or what formats you want to change it to when rendering it. Um, that, that's in the edit section. We'll go into that um, at the end. First, we've got the device, which is obviously the Elgato Kim Chacha HD. If you go into the settings of it, you can change whether it's Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or Wii U, which just came out. So that's good. They updated the uh, software to um, make it compatible with the Wii U, which is quite good. Um, you can change uh, the input, the color range, the, the, uh, whether you want it to be 720p or 1080p. It was default on 720p, but I changed it to 1080 so I could get the best quality possible. And uh, um, it was also default at quality, which was... Uh, uh, I think it was here, but I changed it to the best. Um, I would recommend going, um, if you don't have an all that great computer or laptop, uh, going with good or like uh, somewhere around here. But if you, if you have a good computer and you want to get the best quality possible, which will result in larger files and um, uh, it, will t it will take a lot more power out of your computer to, uh, to record it, then go with best like I am here. Again, to get the best quality possible. Just let it load for her for a bit. It takes a while to load um, uh, if you put it on best. I'll, I'll just cancel it because it's already on best. But on game audio, I've got it on mute here so um, you don't hear the game audio while it's doing this. But um, it's, uh, you can uh, obviously um, uh, enhance the audio or turn it down to mute like I have done here. Uh, you know, uh, pretty self explanatory, just game audio. Let's minimize it uh, so we know we've gone through it. And you can also record a live commentary with one software, which I've not actually tried to sell, but I um, have heard from other people that is very, very well done and is very easy to use. You just select your audio input. I'm using the uh, Blue Snowball microphone right here. And um, uh, uh, you can turn it up from here. And whether you want to actually turn it on, you need to press this or actually turn it on like it's uh, uh, recording it now. 
I'm going to turn it off now. So it's actually turned on like it's uh, <laughs> uh, recording it now. Um, there's echo there. But um, you can also change some settings by clicking that setting button. So you can actually record a live commentary. You haven't actually tried that yet. That must be very, very useful for people who are doing Let's Plays or just uh, simple live commentaries. That must be very, very useful. I really need to try that when doing like a Let's Play or something. Let's minimize that there. And on live streaming, you can also live stream, which is very, very, very good. I've heard the live streaming on this is very, very, very simple and that is very well done because you can actually um, live stream in 720p, I think. Whereas um, on the uh, Harpog, you had to, it was very complicated live stream, very complicated and uh, it, um, it was a lot difficult to do compared to this one. This one is very, very simple. Apparently, I haven't actually tried it yet because, again, I just set it up. But I'll definitely be um, trying it in the future. And, of course, you can uh, change the title, what game it is, and the description of the video. Now, in the bottom right corner is where you can actually record your um, gameplay. But, as you guys will see, there's a little timer right here. And what that timer is, is how it doesn't actually record it. But um, you can rewind... As you can see right here, you can rewind um, certain um, points in the video and then you can record from there. So you don't have to actually record every single match. You can just open up the software and it, it, won't, less, it won't record it, it will save it for you. And then you can rewind certain points and then start recording and then stop recording. So it's very, very simple. So you literally don't miss anything as long as you've got the software always open, which is what I'm going to do in case I get a funny clip or something on Black Ops 2 or um, another game like Far Cry 3. And uh, so I don't have to record every single every single moment of my gameplay. And you can also edit a video. Now I have not tried this at all, but um, I've heard it's very simple. But I I would recommend not using this and just using your own editing software, just because um, it's more professional. Uh, like I'm using Sony Vegas, but you can capture and edit it from in here, and also you can render it to different formats like the iPad, the iPhone, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. And you Oh, and, and uh, you can also share it to YouTube straight from here, so you don't have to render it in um, your own software. But that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go in depth here because I've never actually used it, and I'm not planning on using it. I'm just using uh, Sony Vegas to render mine. But that's pretty much it with the Elgato. I definitely, definitely recommend it so far. And um, the first impression is it's very, very good quality. And I can finally play in HDMI. I haven't played in HDMI on my Xbox in about a year and a half now and it looks so so good and um, also as you guys will see if you like um, hover over this bit um, it will actually uh, zoom in not that uh, why isn't it zooming in and no sometimes it zooms in I think if you just leave it on the uh, preview screen sometimes it just zooms in uh, yeah like that but that is pretty much it thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy this um, uh, unboxing and quality tests of the um, Elgato be sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching Lemon out.